Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making two cute Christmas signs. Stay tuned guys, let's get crafting. So this first sign was just supposed to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. I mean, just so simple. This sign from Dollar Tree is the perfect sign to make this um, fresh baked pie served daily sign because it doesn't have a back and it's just deep enough. It just is a perfect like little sign for this. So I poured some nail polish remover on it to remove the writing that was already on there. Now, <laughs> oh gosh, I poured way too much on there and it seeped through the cracks and stuck to my wrapping paper that I had it on, which in turn made my sign red. And I'm like, okay, this is, I've used that much before. I never thought it would go through the cracks, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just, I just was having a crafter's brain moment and I'm thinking, hmm, this kind of looks neat. I thought originally that the nail polish remover had taken the white paint off as well and kind of made it like a rusty look. So I'm like, oh, let's grab the bucket and put the sign and add more nail polish remover because I thought it was taken off the white. No, it wasn't. When I added more, <laughs> all it did was take off the original stain from the wrapping paper that I had on my table. So, And then it kind of made it bumpy and yeah, I was just destroying the sign. <laughs> but, you know, you got to work with your mistakes as well as your successes. So I wiped it all off. I actually got a lot of the red off and went to plan B, which was painting this. I say it's plan B because originally I was going to leave this the way it was. I was going to take the words off. I was going to print something off on my silhouette, attach it, easy peasy. But because I ruined it, I had to paint it. So then I'm like, well, let's go rustic country. I was going to have it white, but let's just make this a darker sign. So you do what you want. If you are more careful than I was, <laughs> you won't ruin your sign and you can just leave it white. And so let's see, I'm adding some plaster Waverly to it. Then I'm going to come back in with the mineral and then I'm going to come back in with coffee bean. And I'm just making my sign rustic looking <laughs> because it kind of is a little bit ruined. Um, it got bubbly and a little worn and yeah it oh well you live and learn next time i won't dump a whole bottle of nail polish on a dollar tree sign because that's not good for it i got my silhouette cameo probably about a year ago and still have not figured it out and it absolutely is the most frustrating machine on this planet and i'm having such a hard time with it i cannot get the settings to cut it the right way and you wouldn't believe how much vinyl I go through wasted, which breaks my heart because it's not cheap. But actually, this one came out pretty good the first time I cut it. So I was happy with that. If you have a cutter cutting machine like a Cricut or a Cameo, you know they have a, a store that you can go to. So I went to the store and I purchased the Fresh Baked Pies Served Daily. And you can purchase it purchase it for personal use or for a commercial personal costs like a dollar or something usually commercial costs like eleven dollars so i always do personal i don't sell my work um and there's really no reason for me to get a commercial license so it really is kind of affordable to buy the design and then i just tweaked it and added christmas to it and i did this in the past um with the same one. I've actually done a couple of these fresh baked pie signs. So it's kind of neat to have that and not have to try to create it yourself. Cause like I said, I am 
so bad with my cameo machine oh one of these days i'm gonna figure it out and i've actually watched tutorials i just can't figure it out but this is gonna i know i'm rambling but this is gonna come into play on the next project in this video where i'm about to pull my hair out but for right now all the stars aligned and the universe came together and my cameo actually cut it the way it was supposed to and not just that i was actually able to rub it on and pull it back off without having to fix it 50 gazillion times so after everything i went through ruining the dollar tree sign this part actually worked out and i think it turned out pretty cute And there it is. And Rustic Country really fits this sign because that sign is, you probably can't see it <laughs> up close like I can, but yeah, it's its worn. It, it looks like it's been around for a hundred years already, <laughs> but hey, I'm still going to use it. And I love that it says Christmas pies and I think it will go really cute with my Christmas decor. This next sign is so simple to make and it came out so adorable using a little dollhouse dresser, a chalkboard sign, and one of those little bottles that you can get from Dollar Tree. Now when I took my little dresser out of the package, one of the legs was broken and I had to hot glue it. And then I noticed that one of the knobs, they and this was not me guys, one of the knobs is like way off center on that middle <laughs> drawer. <laughs> And oh well, it's Dollar Tree. This only cost me a dollar, so I really can't complain. So I just took my plaster paint and I gave the little dresser a good coat of white. Then I came back in and on the chalkboard sign, I just went around the edges. I wanted a little bit of the wood to show, so I wasn't doing full coverage. Um, I didn't want to come back and have to distress it, so I just let some of the wood show. So I decided I was going to print off this cute little Santa and coffee um, saying off my cameo and use it as a stencil. And I am like this whole video, I had good intentions. The crafts came out really cute, but I did not have one single brain cell when I was doing this. When you're doing a stencil, don't put transfer tape on the front of it. Just pull your vinyl off and put it on your sign and weed it on the sign and then paint over it but silly me i put transfer tape on it and i could not get this transfer tape off and i wasn't about to ruin more vinyl so i set the project aside and i walked away and i came back a couple hours later and was able to remove that transfer paper so oh my gosh i just i think that machine just scares me so much that i don't think so once i finally got it on which i forgot to tell you guys at first i thought it wasn't sticking right so i actually took some black chalkboard paint and i painted the black part of this because i thought it would adhere better to paint than what the original sign had on it and i don't know i got it to stick i got the transfer 
tape off and I came back in with a makeup sponge and I painted some of it red and the rest of it white not thinking when I removed this um, stencil that it pulled off some of the black <laughs> chalkboard paint so my sign is blotchy and I know that it's not perfect but you know what a regular chalkboard's been written on and wiped and no chalkboard is perfect so I just think this adds character because <laughs> mine is blotchy so hopefully when you guys do this yours will come out a lot better looking than mine did but I still think it's super cute The white really pops on the sign. I wish the red did as well. The red's a little more muted, but I still like the two different colors. And that's exactly why I went with a stencil instead of just adding vinyl letters to this sign because I wanted two different colors. And I am not about to figure out how to use two different colors of vinyl in that machine because it will make me crazy. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take this chalkboard and I'm gonna attach it to the that dresser. I didn't paint the top of the dresser because I think at first I was going to use wood glue to do this and then I decided after all my frustrations I was going to go the easy route and use hot glue. So you can use wood glue, you can use E6000, whatever your heart desires, but at this point I was frustrated <laughs> and hot glue was the best case scenario for me. Using a little crafter square, one of those little blocks that you can get from Dollar Tree, I'm just attaching it to the back to help hold this sign up straight. Then I come back in and I paint the top of the dresser where I hadn't painted before. Using one of those little bottles with the corks that you can get from Dollar Tree, I decided to go grab one of my Keurigs from this morning's coffee, and I was going to put real coffee grounds in this <laughs> using a paintbrush because that's just how my day is going. If I were to use that paintbrush, I would still be here next year at Christmas time trying to fill this jar. So then I just decided to dump it. I used my hand as a funnel and dumped the grounds into the jar, pushing them back in with that paintbrush and that seemed to work. I made a mess but that's easily cleaned up so it has real little coffee grounds in it and then I just used hot glue and I attached that bottle to the corner of the dresser.
This will look so cute on like a three-tiered shelf or tray or centerpiece. It really is a cute sign. Mine's a little wonky with some of the black on the on the chalkboard missing, but like I said, that's just crafter's character, right? It still came out really cute. <laughs> oh, so frustrating, but I'm so glad that both projects actually are something I can use. And it, they were really fun to make, even with all the trials and tribulations <laughs> through this video. I hope you guys were inspired to create something similar. Um, let me know in the comments if you make it. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of how I can stop pulling my hair out while using my uh, Silhouette Cameo machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. You never know what you're going to see. <laughs> and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. I hope y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day and a great Christmas season. I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow, 25 days to Christmas. Series, remember, a video every day until Christmas. Bye, y'all.